get drunk or get dancing. Swindle them out of what little they have left. Can't believe they won't let us stop the bastard. We still ought to do something about it. You heard the commander. No proof, no arrest. I filed a harassment complaint last time, remember? Gotta watch our backs. Not much we can do with this new detail anyway. What are we, a couple of mall cops? Should've just shot the bastard when we had the chance. I know people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, the new regs apply to the whole Citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Get me a better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally? Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Arya, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. I see. And now you've been processed. Is there anything else? Nothing. Thank you. Anytime. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my shit list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. If it were me, I'd want revenge. Glad to see we think alike. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Suns leader is incognito here on the Citadel. 
He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, loco. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. Maybe I should expect it. There aren't a hell of a lot of people who've done what I have. And now they get to meet you in the flesh. You should buy them around. It'll impress them. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Loco. I was hoping you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. Damn it, morale is pitiful. The troops need something to bring back their fighting spirit. Remember the stories of the 1st Regiment on Castellus? Outnumbered, knowing they would die, but they fought for the Empire. That's the spirit we need if we're going to hold power.
Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the Docking Bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. You can't turn people away. You know, if that ship doesn't clear out, the dock's authorized to fire. Right. We'll follow through if the situation forces us to. But they're civilians. And they're keeping military ships from doing their jobs. I'm contacting Docking Central. If that ship isn't shoving off in 30 seconds... Don't fire! I'll... I'll tell them to go. I hate this. There's just not enough space for everyone. Cerberus forces have reportedly attacked a Solarian medical facility on Sir Kesh. Solarian officials have no con Refugees from reoccupied colonies are being placed. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Docking Bay E24. This level has been repurposed to accommodate the recent influx of civilians on the Citadel. Please ensure that you observe proper security protocols at all times while in this area. How many people are stranded here? Any personal information pertaining to residents of these facilities cannot be revealed without prior authorization. However, be assured that the facilities allocated by Citadel Council are more than adequate for current requirements. Adequate? Absolutely. Furthermore, Relocations requests are being given top priority. The Citadel is dedicated to ensuring optimal solutions for all. Can you tell me about the security protocols you mentioned? Due to the high influx of civilians and new streamlined processing measures, travel from this area is carefully monitored. These are merely precautionary measures to ensure the safety of permanent Citadel residents. What else is in the area? This high-security docking area was formerly reserved for Alliance Embassy deliveries. However, Councillor Udina recently put forth a Council motion that it be converted to accommodate civilian emergency housing. So how did the Council react? The motion passed with unanimous approval. Since then, all major races have contributed to the funding required to maintain this area. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. Do you have any information on Purgatory? The term purgatory is present in many civilizations with varying associated uses and meanings. No, the bar called purgatory. The Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board has no establishment by that name on its list of approved nightlife entertainment facilities. Thanks, Avina. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. Fierce fighting continues as the Reapers occupy most of Paris. Excuse me, what was your name again? Uh, the car. Christophe Vasser, good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know, I'm, I'm not in the... I don't know how long it was since I escaped Lyon. Do you know Lyon? No. Asari Intelligence is reporting sightings of Reaper forces in the Salian Nebula and the Nimbus Cluster. Maintain, my brothers and sisters. We have faced adversity and overcome. This is but a test. Remember the pillars of strength that hold our people high. Show the galaxy our resolve. I know that your faith is weak. Our government has fallen, but if you hold the pillars of strength in your hearts, please, just don't give up. Thank you.
Those refugees are Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Your purchases are a credit to the hegemony. Cerberus forces have reportedly attacked a Solarian medical facility on Sir Kesh. Solarian officials have no comment. Refugees from Reaper-occupied colonies are being placed in makeshift camps in a citadel docking base. Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. Wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Vosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You won't have to worry about Oraka for long. Love it. Commander Shepard taking out the Blue Suns trash, huh? That Arya is sure something special. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of it. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. Yeah, he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. Asari Intelligence is reporting sightings of Reaper forces in the Selian Nebula. We just got a report that another ship made it off Palavin. How many on board? 30 or 40 survivors. That's all. They said the fighting's getting worse. Well, let's find some room for them. This is going to be home for a while. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. You have a copy of a Shepard VI? 
Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Refugees from Reaper-occupied colonies are being placed in makeshift camps in the Citadel docking bays. Rogan forces reported heavy casualties and destroying a Reaper stronghold located in what was once Rachni space. Fierce fighting continues as the Reapers occupy most of Palavan. It appears that Turian forces may lose their planet. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Yes, I have spoken to you before. Why do you refuse to help me? If it's Using possible Hades that my son Bilal is alive, I will not rest until he's found. Expanded into the Gemini Sigma and Voyager clusters. I fully understand the situation. Of course I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please! Please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is M.I.A.? My son, Bilal. And bureaucratic compassion seems to be in short supply. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Humanity has suffered a heavy blow as Arcturus Station, capital of the system's alarm... has fallen to Reaper forces. Shepard, to what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the Council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no way I'm letting that psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing, I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost, and my assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Commander Shepard, John Dumbau, Special Tactics and Recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. 
The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintain discreet grey market trade relationships with the Batarians and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Kasumi? You're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Salarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. I'm dealing with a galaxy-wide threat right now. You sure this is worth the time? Absolutely. The Hanar are a major financial power. Plus, their territory buffers Salarian space, which would be vulnerable otherwise. The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. So, remember when you helped me get KG's Grey Box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war? I thought we destroyed that information to keep you safe. There were enough clues left for me to piece things together when I... got curious. It was big enough to leak it to Bao. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. All I can think is that the more things change, the more they stay the same. I've always loathed that phrase, fatalism. Not what men and women should aspire to. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity is as feared as we are loved. Hopefully that works in our favor now. I'll try to get financial aid from as many worlds as I can. Maybe manpower, a few armed ships. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. 
Anderson would be proud. So long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a character, a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all their worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites in the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Counselor Irissa is not like her predecessor. She is colder. If she has her hand on your throat, she will squeeze. A shield. There you might find some traction. Practical, she might make Machiavelli turn pale, but that's a Delatras for you. Frankly, it's good Quentius spoke with you. His home world is in the most trouble, and he's looking for a way out. That speaks opportunity. I should go. I'll be here. stock of modified metagel is low, but no, you don't understand. This Bizarre isn't for... Intelligence is reporting sightings Listen, of I am a surgeon at Puerto Memorial on the Citadel. We have several alien patients here at this time, and we need... No, regular metagel won't work. We need the modified version for better absorption rates. Don't you dare hang up on me. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait forever on this. Humanity has... I found this Metagel formula and figured you could make good use of it. Where did you find this? Never mind, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. <coughs> Commander Shepard, when I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Hey, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me. Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold.
Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. Some people would find this uncertainty freeing. I contemplate what I have done. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. I'm back in the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I have family here that I must take care of, Shepard. I have neglected my son, and now he is self-destructive. He may be safe from Reapers here, but I worry. If he dies, when he dies, I want him to know he has a loving father. That means I must give things up for him. I'm sorry. I wish the best for you, Thane. You wish, I pray. I appreciate the sentiment, Shepard. Until we meet again. Cerberus forces have reportedly attacked a Solarian medical facility on Sir Kesh. Solarian patient is not in condition. Maybe after transfer. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the VI in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this. Having a VI drive your body isn't life. A Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. Thanks. Took her long enough to get the hint. Hello again, Commander. You're to see our patient? How's Ashley doing? Very well. Her rate of recovery is amazing. I still want to keep her under observation, but she should be fit for duty soon. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. The Volus homeworld, Irun, has fallen to Reaper forces. We have refugees coming from Paladin. All staff lights have been returned. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. They have biotic amp interfaces I may be able to adapt for Asari use. No, it won't connect. It says the station's communication system is offline. Of course. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone. But I found... What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. I'd like an answer, Lieutenant Commander. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. I still need time. You'll have my answer soon, I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Odina, I got your email. Made your decision yet? On becoming a Spectre? Not yet. It's an honor and all. But I don't know. I need to think about it some more. It's a big decision. Smart to give it some thought. Here, I picked this up for you. Figured you had some downtime. Thanks. That's sweet. I've been climbing the walls. How are you doing? Good, considering. The nurse said you checked in on me earlier. Still out cold, I guess. We didn't have time to talk. I thought maybe if you were up for it. Yeah, I wasn't sure you wanted to. 
You were pretty clear on Mars about where things stood. What do you mean? You're not a part of Cerberus anymore. Case closed. Full stop. It's the truth. Okay. You cut all ties. I accept that. It's just that if you're giving me orders, I need to be able to count on you. That works both ways. It's a damn mess out there. All we've got is the people around us. We have to trust each other or this doesn't work. Deal? Deal. Okay. Get some rest. You need anything at all, let me know. Shepard, wait. There's one more thing. I wasn't sure if I should mention it. What is it? I have family back on Earth. I... I haven't heard from them. It's making me crazy. But I know you're busy, Shepard. We can talk later. I've got time to talk. Who's back on Earth? Mom, plus my three sisters. The youngest, Sarah, was away on her honeymoon. Married a military man, Thomas. He got called back in and she was stuck alone. She called me. It's been pretty tough. I imagine. I was always there to protect them growing up. Even when I was off on tour, they knew they could talk to me. I told her to come to the Citadel. We could wait for news together. I didn't hear from you while I was a guest of the Alliance. I couldn't face you, even when Anderson requested my presence. It was difficult. It's okay. We're past that. Fresh start. It's gonna take time. Copy that. But not too long. The bad guys aren't taking coffee breaks. Okay, okay, what is this? Healing through guilt? Seems to be working. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. If we plan on getting through this, we need to trust each other. I was trying to keep the family stuff to myself, to be professional. I don't know how you managed to keep it all together. I have my moments, believe me. You know, I'm glad to hear it. Have you heard anything about Earth? We have reports coming all the time on what's going on. Half are wild speculation, and half are probably too optimistic to be true. We have to believe that we can do something. When I thought you were dead, I lost hope. I'm telling you. But when you came back, I was ready to believe anything. I mean, maybe this problem can't be solved by some grunt shooting the boogeyman in the face. But if you think it might help, I'm game. That sounds more like the Ash I know. So, what's all this Lieutenant Commander business? Seems like the old Williams curse is losing its grip. Was sure I'd top out at gunnery, Chief. You've worked hard. You deserve it. I thought so too, until Eden Prime. Losing 212 was, well, <laughs> you know. It was the Reapers, Ash. You did the best you could and survived to help us. Just losing everyone under my command, it's, it's tough to face. I'll never forget any of them. Right now, we need you back on your feet. I'll be back. And first order of business is to shove their metal tentacles right up there. Uh, I mean, I'll fight with honor and courage, sir. Roger that, LC. I should get back to it. Take care of yourself. You too, Shepard. talking to our resident psychiatrist before the operation. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. 
We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. I know the Ismar frontier isn't safe. Yes, yes. All I can say is that unless we get those prototypes back, this project accomplishes nothing. Thank you very much for your time. I'll call you if anything develops. No, it's fine. We won't be needing your supplies after all. No, we found a better variant of Metagel that allows for an even higher absorption rate among aquatic species. You'd like a sample? Why, of course. We'll be happy to send you one. Just as we sent one to every pharmaceutical company in Citadel space. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. 